Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how you can hide or show a tab in a model-driven application based on the value of a drop-down column. This can be other types of columns, but in this example, we're going to work with just a regular no, yes column. For this example, I set up a basic application with the standard tables of the account and contacts. If you want to know how you can set up a basic application uh, for model-driven apps, then you can watch the video that's displaying on the screen right now. For this example, we're going to work with JavaScript. So we're going to let the JavaScript apply on the form that we're using in the account table to make, uh, to make this all happen. So to start, we're going to start building our JavaScript and we're going to head over to Visual Studio Code where I set up a template which we're going to fill together and later on we're going to upload this to the model-driven app form. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about uploading JavaScripts to the model-driven application form, you should watch the video that's displaying on the screen right now. In this video, we're going over it a little bit quicker. So the first thing that we want to do is declare the function and the function name, because this is the name that you are going to declare in the form where you want to trigger the JavaScript. So we're going to start with the function, then we're going to add the function name. This will be toggle details tab. You can choose just whatever name you like. I will let it run on the execution context. All right. And uh, we're going to move this to the end because this will be the end of our function and everything within this will be run, running when, uh, when this uh, function is, is triggered. The next step that we need to take is get the form context. This is basically necessary for any JavaScript function that you're going to run on, uh, on a model-driven app form. And it helps you to, ret to retract the, the data from the form to get control over the elements on the form. Uh, so we're going to de declare this with var. We're going to declare the form context. And to get this, we're going to use the execution context and add the function of get form context. So from now, we can use this function to get anything from, uh, from the form. All right, next up get the value of the extra information column. So when we go to our application, this is the column that we, uh, we need to get, to get the value from. So to do so, we're going to head to the table. And in our scenario, this will be account, but you can just go to the Power Platform Center, go to the table that you're, uh, you're building this on and search for the, for the right column. In our scenario, it's going to be extra information. Make sure to grab the logical name because this is where JavaScript works with. And then we're going to head back to our code and to get this value. Oh, no need for that. Uh, we're going to var extra info and we're going to use the form context to get the attribute of the column that we need it from. But that's not all that we need. We also want to get the value. So this is the value that's de now declared in the extra info. All right, next up is get control of the details tab. And to do so, we need to head over to the form of the, the table that we're going to do this on. And we're going to head to the details tab. And then here you see the second uh, column here is the information that we need. So for our scenario, it's details underscore tab. For this, we're going to declare a new variable and it's going to be called the details tab. We're going to use the form context and the user interface tabs. And we want to grab our tab. So now we also have control over our uh, over our tab and we have the, the, the value if there is any value from extra information. So now we're going to start building our if functionality. And this will be if the information, the value in extra info equals true, then we want 
the following thing to happen. We want details tab, Z visible to true. So if the if this is yes, the extra information uh, column, then uh, the details uh, tab will be uh, visible. Uh, and then we're going to use an else function because if this is not the case, what we want to happen is details tab set visible to false. So that's basically our script. We're now going to save it with, uh, with a, a name and we're going to upload it in the form of the model driven application. So I saved the, the file as uh, tabscript.javascript. So now we're going to head over to our form. There we are. And we need to upload the, first we need to upload the script to our library. You can do that through here because this is also the place where we want to uh, attach the script. And where you go to add event handler, you can add a library and you can just upload it directly from your computer. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, there we have it, our tab scripts. You can, uh, you can change the, the display name, you can change the logical name if you like. For now, we're going to leave it like this. So now it should be added to our library and we, will, we should be able to, um, to get this. There we go. And we're going to have add and select it. So here we need to fill in the name of our, of our function. So in our scenario, we call it toggle details tab. We're just going to copy this and paste it right here. We do need to pass the execution context. So now we've added our uh, function in our JavaScript on the onload. So this will be triggered when the form is loaded, but we'd also like it to be triggered when the information, the value in extra information column uh, changes. So we're going to add an unchange. We're gonna select our JavaScript on the library. We're going to add our function right here and pass the execution context. We're going to save and publish the form. And now it's time to start testing. Right, so we've refreshed our uh, application a few times because sometimes it takes a little bit more time uh, with this way for uh, JavaScript to actually be uploaded to the form. Uh, but we got it right now. So as you can see, by default, the extra information tab is, uh, is, is hidden. But when we're going to add yes right here, it will be displayed. And we, we're going to go back to no, up, hidden, up, hidden. And we're, we're going to hit yes again, it's, it's shown. So basically this is also possible with other values and other columns. Maybe we can go over this another time. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you guys for watching and I, I'd like to see you with, uh, on the new video.